Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create an invisible filter like this in the Spark AR Studio. Yeah, it is a very funny filter, so just follow along the tutorial and in the end, yeah, you will have a filter like this. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create this invisible filter here in the Spark AR Studio. The first thing we will do is to extract a lot of textures from our camera object in the scene. So for this we just go to the left hand side to our scene panel and click on the camera. Then we go to the right hand side and here we will extract the texture from our camera. So just click on the little plus next to it. Now we also need all of the free segmentation textures of the camera element. So yeah, for this just go to the right hand side, when the camera is selected at a segmentation you will also find a little plus. When you click on it you can choose between person, hair and skin. And as I have already said we need all three. So just click on person, then again on the plus click on hair. Now you will get a message that this is not available at Facebook so yeah this feature is only for Instagram so we will create this filter for Instagram so just click on remove unsupported platforms and then the last texture we need is the skin segmentation um, yeah, texture. Now when we take a look at our assets panel we see that there is no difference between the segmentation of the person, hair or skin so we will rename the textures so yeah we don't get confused later in creating the filter. So just click on the segmentation mask texture 0. On the right hand side here you can take a look which type it is. So this is the person segmentation. So I will just um, yeah, rename this to segmentation person. So the next one was the hair. Just double check it here. Yes it's the hair one. So I will also um, uh, renamed this to segmentation hair and the last one was of course the skin segmentation. So after this is done we need a patch from the yeah, Spark AR asset library. For this go to the left hand side and click on the asset library. So now we need to um, search for texture projection. Yeah, just hit enter and then you will find this texture projection patch here in the asset library. Just click on it and then click on import free. After the download is done you can close the AR library and you will find the patch here um, in your assets panel under texture UV projection. So now we have to import a texture for our background because um, yeah the camera can't see what's behind of us so we have to do a little workaround so yeah just look for a texture you want to use which should um, yeah, simulate the invisibility. So for this go to your assets panel click on the plus and here just click on import from computer and select a background. Um, yeah, this has to be in a 9 to 16 aspect ratio or you already get it in the right size of 576 times 1024 because yeah, Instagram will automatically resize it to those size. So then just click on open. So after the background is um, yeah, imported, selected, go to the right hand side and set the compression to none. So and now the fun part begins. We have to set up our scene, we have to set up the materials and we have to do a little bit of programming in the patch editor. Um, you can use here the background picture um, you want or you also can work here with a gallery texture so you are able to change this picture every time you use the filter so you can make it yeah, more realistic because you can film the background you want and then um, yeah, choose it into the filter and it looks more real because you will have the invisibility effect where you are. So yeah, just um, to let you know. But I will um, use just a static background because it will be more easier 
for this tutorial. So at first we will create our materials we need. We need a background material, a person segmentation, the hair segmentation and also the skin segmentation for this um, yeah, filter. But yeah, we will do this step by step. The first thing will be that we create a background segmentation here. So for this I will create a new material and I will call this background. Then I will go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. And at the texture I select the background texture. So the next material, the same we created, then I will call this person. Then again go to the right hand side, sh shader type to flat and here for diffuse we choose the camera texture. Then we have to activate the alpha channel and here we select the segmentation person texture. So now we will set up the scene for the background segmentation. So we go to our scene, click on the plus and here we search for rectangle and insert a rectangle object as we can see it here. Now of course we want to stretch it all over the screen. So select the rectangle you have just created, go to the right hand side and set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. Then for the material just select the background material. So now I will rename this rectangle to background. So now we can just duplicate this, this rectangle. So just right click on it and then click on duplicate. So I will rename this background zero to person. So yeah, I don't get confused later. And then I go to the right hand side and for the material I select the person material. And now we have already done a background segmentation here. Just make sure that the person layer is underneath the background layer. Because when it is above the background layer, yeah, you can't see the user. So yeah, make sure it is underneath the person. So now we will do a little programming here in the batch editor. So for this go to your assets bundle and, dra and drag and drop the texture UV projection to your patch editor. So then you will have this orange patch here. Then we need a new material. We will do the skin segmentation first. So I will create a new material, rename it to skin. Then again go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Now we go down to diffuse and we don't select a texture now. So we just click on the little arrow next to texture. After we have done this, um, we can find this yellow skin patch here in the patch editor. And then we go down, activate the alpha channel and here we select the segmentation skin texture. So now when we take a closer look at the patch editor here, especially at the texture UV proje projection patch, we can select an uh, input texture here at the um, yeah, drop down menu. Here I just select my background texture and now just connect the texture output of the patch to the diffuse texture input of our yellow um, yeah, material patch. After we have done this, we will again duplicate our our rectangle here. So I will just right click on the person rectangle and click on duplicate and I will rename this to skin. So now just go to the right hand side and here for the at the material select the skin material and now you can see we have already successfully made our skin invisible. Um, yeah, when I take off my cap we can see the hair is still here. So we will do this now and yeah, you can already do some settings here. So when you go to your assets panel, click on the segmentation skin texture. You, on the right hand side you can change the mask size as you can see here and you can also change the edge softness. So it is it's now is a now it is a harder edge and now it is a much softer edge. So yeah, just play around until you get the outcome you want. So now we have one more step left. So again, just create a material. I will call this hair. Again, go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat, go down to texture, click on the little arrow next to texture. Then just connect the texture output of the texture UV projection to the texture uh, to the diffuse texture input of the yellow hair patch. 
and don't forget to activate the alpha channel at the material and here for the texture we select our segmentation hair texture. Now again duplicate a rectangle, rename it to hair and then for the material select the hair material and now also the hair are more invisible. So yeah, that was all the magic about a invisible filter here in the Spark AR Studio. As I have already said, of course, you can um, yeah, work with the gallery texture, but yeah, when you want to have a fixed background, um, all the time you use the filter, you can just use this, uh, yeah, just one texture. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.